everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerSlyShop.com. Time for another tying video this week. And uh, this week we're going to start a new series. Um, we're going to get into some salmon flies, steelhead flies. Uh, you know, our wintertime passion. So, um, fall is coming here just around the corner. And the salmon are going to be running. The steelhead and the brown trout that follow them will be running. And I'm going to tie a couple patterns that I use while I go up there. And show you some new ones that I found and, you know, and, and do some requests too. So, for the next little while, we just got done posting a bunch of bass flies. Now I'm going to get into some steelhead and salmon flies. So, the one we're going to tie today is a flesh fly, a nice big meaty fly. Um, actually, next week I'm going to Alaska. I'm going to be throwing this thing. The silvers are going to be finishing up up there. And, you know, the rainbows will be back there to eat their eggs and stuff like that. So I'm going to be th taking this thing along with me up to Alaska and giving it a try up there. It's a very simple fly. Um, here, I'm going to show you a clip of it right here. Um, you can see how much action it has in the water. This thing's just full of action, you know, nice and flowing, articulated pattern. So it's simple to tie. That's the main important thing here. I like to keep it simple for you guys. And uh, a lot of the material you might already have around the house. So you know it's going to be easy to tie for you so here it is in the vise and then the material list to tie it okay guys here you see the fly in the vise it's a pretty big one um, it's really easy to tie actually though and uh, let's get into tying it okay what we're gonna start out with is a size 6 2557 Daiichi hook okay it's a nice big old circle hook there and I'm just gonna use some pink 140 denier thread I don't care what color thread you use whatever you have whatever no biggie here and just going to start that on the hook there. And now I'm going to put an egg on the back. And for the egg on the back, I'm going to make the egg. And to make it, I'm going to use some eggs to see. This is sockeye colored. And we're just going to tie this down. And the reason I'm using eggs to see is because it's the easiest egg you can tie. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie that on there. And we're going after some bigger fish here. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger egg. I'm going to make about four to five wraps, and each time I'm going to tease it back just a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to tie it off. And that's all that's to the egg part. Okay, now, once we tie this off, just going to clean it up a little bit. There we go. There's our egg. Okay, very easy to see. Now what we're going to take is a piece of some white marabou. And I'm just going to find a piece that's not real long, a shorter piece. Uh, not going to be real, real picky. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the tips. Okay, I'm going to grab the tips. I'm going to pull them out. Oops. I'm going to pull all the fibers back. So, I, I ripped off the tip accidentally, and that is fine. I'm going to tie down that tip. And this is going to make the veil over this egg, okay? And all we're going to do is we're just going to tease out these marabou fibers. Some of these ones on the back, I'm just going to throw them away. I don't want them on there. And I'm going to tease these so they roll back over that egg. So, we're just going to palmer this forward. Get about four or five wraps here. And we're going to tie this off. Just make sure I got it going back over the egg. And tie it off, like I said. There, I got a nut on there. I like that. So we're just going to trim that off. And that's going to be our back hook. So now we're just going to take and we're going to clean this up. Make a nice clean head here. And now, you can see here, I'm gonna, well first I'm going to whip finish this off. 
Okay, now you can see here on this that this is pretty long fibers for the veil on the egg. Plus it's going to add a lot of length to my fly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my fingers, pinch it off here behind the egg, and I'm just going to trim these off with my fingers. And it'll give it a ragged look and a more natural look than if you trimmed it with a knife. So, that is our back hook. Okay, that's our, that's our hook actually. Now, here's my tip for the next part. The next thing I'm going to put in is I'm using some Seaguar 50 pound braided wire or braided line. Um, 50 pound whatever, it doesn't have to be Seaguar, whatever you have. But 50 pounds is going to hold it. And the secret to getting that through is I'm going to take some 8 pound test or 10 pound test, whatever, and I'm going to make a loop with it, and I'm going to feed both pieces, both ends, down through the eye, okay? So I have a loop coming, you can see there, the loop coming out of the eye. Now I'm going to take my braided line, and I'm going to put it through the loop, I'm going to pinch the two ends together so I have them the same length. And I'm going to pull it through the, through the eye that way, okay? So there you see, I got it coming through the eye where I want it. Now, now that it's through the eye, let me back it up here a little bit. I'm going to open the loop up, okay? And I'm going to stick my two ends that are together. I'm going to stick them through the loop, pull it tight, and I like to pop the loop back over the eye and draw it down on the eye. Oops, there we go, like that. So it doesn't draw down on the hook, but it draws, I mean, so it doesn't draw down on the line, but it does on the eye. Okay, there's our trailer hook, okay? Now, we're going to start on the body now, the rest of the fly. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to use some articulated fish spines, and I'm going to use the 25 millimeter one. You can use the 20, you can use the 30 if you want, but 30 is going to get pretty long on it. So, I'm just going to move this over here. I'm going to put that in my vise. Alright, we're going to put that in the vise there, and our puppies are playing and having a lot of fun on the video. So, if you hear that, I'm sorry. You know, they're downstairs, but they're making enough noise. So, when you put that in the vise there, you see how the back end's open here. And, uh, I'm just going to close that back end up then what I like to do next is put a dumbbell eyes on and uh, these are the large size dumbbell eyes that we carry at the shop and whatever dumbbell eyes you have you don't even have to use dumbbell eyes but this is going to give it some weight that I want I want to add a little bit of extra weight so I don't have to add as much to my line and then like any dumbbell eye we're just going to figure eight it around here a little bit and go over and under and okay and once we have that on we're just gonna cover up our shank and now we're gonna put this trailer hook that we had on we're gonna put the trailer hook through back onto the line here but before we do that we're gonna add a couple eggs and uh, for that I'm using five millimeter beads like five or six millimeter beads and these are plastic beads and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread three of them through the holes here or uh, with my braided line I'm gonna put three of them on there and you can put like two of one color one of another however you want to mix it up I'll, I'll do that on this one so there I'll mix them up a little bit on this one you see and what I'm gonna do is the way I like to do it that I think makes it a little bit more secure is I'm gonna run one through one way and one line through the other way there we go okay so I run one through each way and then I like to pull it up but not real real tight I like to give just a little bit of gap in there you can see and let me bring bring it back to here okay you see how I have just enough room for those beads to bounce around a little bit there and give it some movement and then I'm gonna tie this down and I'm gonna try to keep this on top right now I'm going to tie this line up to the eye. Now, these two pieces here, I'm going to go underneath the eyes and then over top of the eyes. You can see how I did that. And that's just going to give me a little bit extra security as I go back over them. 
Okay, now if you're a deer hair guy, this is going to be great for you because you probably got one of these that are laying around. But if not, it might be, not be a bad tool to have laying around the fly bench here because you're going to use it for other things too. But I have a razor blade, and um, this braided line is terrible on uh, a pair of scissors. So don't use them if you don't have to. Get yourself a razor blade, and that cuts them off really nice, really nice and easily. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put some more marabou on to give it that fleshy look. To achieve the fleshy look, we're going to mix some peach with some white, and that's going to give us a fleshy look. So again, we're just going to look for two nice pieces of marabou here. And here's one. Here's my peach. And then let me get a white one. Okay, and I'm going to put these together. And by the tips, I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to tie them in again by the tips. And I'm just going to peel them back a little bit so I can get to the tips. And we're going to tie them in by the tips at, back here at the back end of my shank. Get them tied down there. They're going to be... This is going to be a big messy fly, so that's fine if you don't want to cut them off. And then I'm just going to hold these two together. And as I wrap, I'm going to peel them back. So they go backwards as we go up and back over that trailer hook there. So just keep wrapping these forward until we get up here to our dumbbell eyes. And keep teasing them back over the hook. And then once we get up here to our dumbbell eyes, we're just going to tie it off. Okay, make a couple wraps and we're going to trim. Okay, now watch that trailer hook because it is very, very sharp. Get that tied down there and we're just going to clean up our head a little bit with some wraps. And that is all that's to this. Like I said, a very simple big streamer for salmon. And it has a lot of motion, a lot of activity in the water. And all i got to do now is hit it with a whip finish. And some head cement or UV glue, whichever you have, whichever you like. Um, I'm a UV glue guy. So I am going to hit it with a little bit of bone dry. And that will be all we need. So, because this is a bigger fly, bigger meatier fish, I like to make sure I head cement the bigger flies like this. And there we go. You see how simple that was to tie and how much action that fly has. So give it a try. Okay, I hope you like that. Like I said, it was really easy to tie, a couple pieces of material, and there's a ton of action to it in the water. That's the great thing about it. So, um, I can't wait to give it a try next week whenever I hit the rivers up in Alaska, and uh, I'm sure I'll be posting some pictures of that, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully, I'll get a little video shot while I'm up there, too. So, um, anyhow, the materials, if you're interested in purchasing the materials from the shop, Go back to the description in the bottom here on if you minimize your screen and where it says show more under the description you're going to find a material list and links to it so you can purchase it directly from the website to make it easier for you guys and uh you know we're working on going back to our old ones hopefully we'll have them done sometime in the near future and thanks for watching guys you know I, you're the reason i bring these to you and i have a lot of fun doing it so if you're interested in you know, sending me a question or anything like that, you have a question or a comment, send it to me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. I'll try to get right back to you. And uh, hopefully, if you have a good idea, I can tie a video, you know, tie a fly for you on one of my videos if you want, to, want me to figure out how to tie something. And that's going to be next week's pattern. Uh, one of the guys around the shop here comes in a lot, says, I want you to figure out this fly for me, show me how to tie it, do a video. So that's what I'll be doing next week. Guess what? It's a stonefly. Hard to believe for me, huh? Anyhow, guys, 
Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'm John Holsinger. I'll see you next week.